Yo, yo, what's up, family? You cats know what it is. This is Celebrity Talk with Q, and I'm Q. Yo, check this out. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2 Reunion Part 2. Uh, Part 2 was a little bit more interesting than Part 1. Uh, part 2 opened up with Kirk and Rashida Mona. Scott asks Kirk what kind of husband tells his wife to have an abortion. Kirk explained that Rashida having a baby was the wrong timing. Now, Rashida had told Kirk that that was plain hurtful. You know, then they discussed how Kirk felt that Rashida had gave him a pass and exactly what pass meant to Rashida. Now, you know, when Rashida said, go do you, you know, Kirk went with Benzino, you know, to the cabin and he got with the other chicks and, you know, saying it got kind of raunchy. Now, Kirk tried to publicly apologize to Rashida. Uh, looks like Rashida didn't accept his apology because she felt that it wasn't sincere. Then in the reunion, they moved over to Mimi. Mona asked Mimi, why is she always angry? Now, Mimi said that she was not an angry person, but could not explain all the clips of her breaking on people in situations. Remember those clips they showed? I give mad props to Stevie J. Stevie J, he felt that he was responsible for Mimi being so angry and apologized. And just like Rashida, Mimi did not accept the apology. Now, an ill confrontation looks like it was about to stir up between Nico and Stevie J. Nico entered the stage and him and Stevie J squared off. It didn't lead into a fight, but they both stood up and looked each other straight in the eye. Now, K. Michelle had walked off stage, I guess because, I mean, rumor has it that, you know, her and uh, Nico had a little something, something. And, uh, you know, some people say that uh, Nico kind of straightened her out. Some people say K. Michelle came out of face. But you know what? That's another conversation. Also, Benzino tried to come to the stage. I guess he wanted to assist Stevie J if something jumped off. And uh, Tracy was like, where you going? You know what I'm saying? But Mimi stated that her and Nico did break up, but they are back together. Now, I didn't even know that. I don't think anybody knew that. Uh, Stevie J and Nico started going off on who had the most money. And Stevie J threw a lot of money in the air, making it rain. But, yo, Nico was ready for him. Nico pulled out a bunch of $100 bills and said, what? What you want to do? This is just my Thursday money. Uh, then she moved over to Stevie J and Benzino, how they discussed the whole smashing the homie song. Remember Benzino made smashing a homie with a uh, Jocelyn lookalike? And Benzino stated that Carly was messy because he didn't show her a porn video of Jocelyn. Benzino continued to deny that, but he was put on the spot, though. Nevertheless, it moved over to several ladies of the cast claiming that Benzino tried to get at them. I mean... According to the previous episodes that they showed, Benzino tried to get at everybody. K. Michelle, even Erica, of course, Carly Red. I mean, Benzino was just trying to make his move. I believe he even tried to get at Arion. Wow. Uh, she moved over to Scrappy and Erica. Now, they discussed their breakup with the mothers, Mama D and Mignon. Now, Scrappy got frustrated and started airing Erica's dirty laundry because he felt that she was not playing fair. He said that she was dating a married man. It went a lot further than it was supposed to. All of a sudden, Shay joined the stage, and no matter what, Shay and Erica probably will never like each other. I mean, Shay was like, yo, get a breast lift, and Erica's like, go fix your face. Now, the show ended with K. Michelle performing her hit single, B.S.O.P. You know what? Uh, for all the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunions, for all the Love and Hip Hop New York reunions, I think this was like the most tamed reunion. I mean, it was a little ugly like I told you it would get, but it wasn't as fascinating as the previous Love and Hip Hop reunion. 
Yo, check this out. Go on and send a comment. I mean, what you think about the situation? Do you think it's going to be another season or do you think that we are all tired out of love and hip hop Atlanta? Go on and send your comment. And like we always say, if you think Celebrity Talk with Q, if you think we bring the real, you go on and subscribe. All right, I'm going to get it, y'all. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2 has ended. What you think is going to happen? All right. God bless. 100.